Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at my phone. It says, try another way of going live during your broadcast. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to check that out. But right now, I don't think I need to mess around with anything. I've gotten myself in enough trouble. <laughs> I'm going to bring you guys up on the screen so I can see what is happening. All right. How's everybody doing tonight? I can't see anybody. Oh, here you come. I was gonna say, it says I've got 43 people on, but nobody's showing up. I'm gonna touch my screen and get rid of that thing that was down there. <laughs> Lori says, hi, Jailbird. Hello, from the clink. Yeah, well, guess what, Facebook? You're not gonna keep me down. Hmm. <laughs> I found a way to get around this, and I was absolutely horrified last night. Um, it was late last night. Dina and I were laying in bed. We were on our phones. I was checking out comments people were leaving. And um, I responded to a couple of them. And I clicked a couple likes. And all of a sudden, wham, I got locked down until Monday night. Oh, my Lord. So angry. Anyways, welcome. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from the Nashua, Wisconsin under my husband Steve's Facebook account. So today I went on and made him an administrator on my Facebook business page so that I could then log out of my Facebook account on my phone and log into his and do all of the stuff that I needed to do, right? <laughs> I need a bail bondsman, I know, I'm telling you. Um, we thought, Dina and I thought we had this all figured out why we were getting put in jail. Oh, my crown is so weird tonight. Um, can't have a crooked crown. But Dina thought it had something to do with the amount of groups that we belong to. So apparently you can only belong to 200 groups on Facebook. And I was over that amount. She was over that amount. I know that seems crazy, but we're in a, we get invited into a lot of groups. People put us in groups without telling us, so we don't even know we're there. So if you go to your groups tab and look at it, um, I spent about an hour and a half last night taking myself out of groups so that I would come down under that 200 group threshold, and I did. But then I went on my computer and I started answering some questions and, you know, like I said, I didn't refresh my page so that it would come up as, oh, look, Kelly Atchison has removed herself from all these groups. She's not over 200 anymore. So I think that's why Facebook didn't recognize that I had pulled myself back down under the threshold of 200 groups. And we don't even know that that's for sure, okay? So, um... I got locked down again, and this time I got locked down for almost 48 hours. Like, <laughs> I know, right? There's people who, who harass other people. There's people who are posting really nasty things on Facebook, the trolls that we had a couple weeks ago, and I get locked down for sharing the joy of card making. Believe me, Facebook has no idea what they're that that's all I'm doing. They're looking at me like I'm a spammer and I need to get beyond that. Dina and I talked about it extensively over the weekend. And um, we it's almost like we're on a no-fly list now. That like every single move we make, they, they hammer us and, and restrict us and whatever. So that's what it feels like. Anyways, I just wanted to explain to you guys what is going on. We don't really understand the whole spectrum of of this or we wouldn't be out of it I, or I, we, we would stop you know and I've done very very little so first of all I just want to let you guys know that I am looking at your comments I'm appreciating your comments please don't stop commenting um, I would like to go and like your comments but at this point I'm afraid for my Facebook life <laughs> I'm running for my Facebook life <laughs> It's so ridiculous. It's like, is this the like that's going to send me back to jail? That's what's happening. So, I am I'm going to I'm going to not be liking stuff and I'm not going to be commenting on stuff for a while to see if I can get myself out of this problem because we don't understand it. But, um I just wanted to let you know that please keep commenting. I am reading everything. I am wishing I could like it, but I just I have to pull myself back now. 
And you know, some people who don't understand the scope of this may say, well, it's just Facebook and you're locked down for a day or two, who cares? Facebook is my business platform. My business is how I make money and they are messing with my paycheck now because if people aren't seeing me, they're probably not buying from me and that's gonna create some big problems. So I'm gonna pull myself back from liking and commenting, but no, that I am reading everything out there that you guys are posting to me. I mean, I don't go out and read other people's stuff, but, um, and I'm looking at my news feed and I'm seeing your birthday pictures and your grandbaby pictures and all your things and I'm wanting to say, oh my gosh, the baby is so cute and and to love your stuff, but I, I just can't for a while. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kinda lurk and just know that I'm seeing everything. Yeah, that's about all I can do at this point until we really get this figured out. So. Um, I wanted to let you know that um, I had a fabulous weekend. I hope you guys had a fabulous weekend. Um, I went down to Crystal Lake, Illinois. I was invited by fellow demonstrators Peggy Merwin and Tina Rappe to be a guest presenter at their demonstrator event. And it was all Stamping Up demonstrators and we went there for some training. Um, also guest presenting was my bestie Dina Rico. And that was a lot of fun. So Dina presented on online classes and shared her knowledge of that. I presented on Facebook Lives, not Facebook Jail, because I'm obviously not an expert there. I'm not an expert on Facebook Live, but I do a lot of Facebook Lives and I've been doing them for a long time. And so it was really, really cool that I got to present on what I know and, you know, to share that with other demonstrators because you guys know that I share a lot with you. I am always sharing with other demonstrators too, whether they're on my team or not on my team. I prefer they be on my team. Sometimes I can't give um, outside demonstrators a, as big of an explanation for things that I would like to because my time is restricted and I really do like to um, keep my time for my team members. That's where I need to concentrate my time as far as that. But I'm always willing to share and help and do anything I can for fellow demonstrators because we're all in this together and I love that we have a passion for paper crafting. So we had a fabulous time also presenting was Jackie Bol Bolche. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, she is a demonstrator from Canada and she actually went first Friday night and she was hysterical. Like she had us laughing so hard throughout her whole presentation. And it was about um, the gatherings that she does for her team members and why she changed her format and just a whole bunch of different things. But it was really, really funny. And then me and Dean are like, oh my gosh, we have to follow that. Like she was so good. Then it's hard, right? <laughs> but I think Dina and I knocked it out of the park too. I think everybody was thrilled that they were there, that they got the training that they did. We also made super duper cute things. I'm gonna show you a few of them. This is the little, um, what is this called? I can't remember, I just drew a blank. This is in our mini catalog and it's a tiny cute little box. This was a gift that everybody got and it opens up just like this so you don't have to destroy it. Well, let me see if I don't have to destroy it. Hang on, I'm gonna destroy it. No, I didn't. And it just had a couple, whoops, three pieces of chocolate in it. But what a cute little gift when we got to the event. And this is another reason um, why I love going to Stampin' Up! events because we always, there's always that little extra touch, that little curvy keepsakes, thank you, Mindy. That little extra touch that demonstrators go to to make things just absolutely adorable. Thank you, Kathy Miller. <laughs> Kathy, Kathy Miller was there and she said that I did a fabulous job. I really appreciate that. But this is the cutest little thing, and we appreciate these little tokens, right? And we love to see stuff made up with our product, of course. So that was a little gift that everybody in attendance was given. And then when we sat down in our chairs for our presentations, we got this cute little notepad with a matching pen. The paper matches the paper up here. And this is one of, whoops, one of our stamp sets. It says, wake up, kick butt, repeat. What a great thing to have for demonstrators that are there to learn and build their business, right? So it was super cute. It's just a plain little notepad. And um, that was a nice little gift. 
And then for being a presenter, the presenters were given this gift. And isn't this just gorgeous? This is some of our Christmas designer series paper. And it's a bag made out of the paper. And oh, I'll show you that little tag up a little bit closer. Here we go. Isn't that just sweet? Look at those jingle bells. And the ribbon that um, frays out really cool like that. Yeah. I'll probably find the directions for this bag and show you how to make it in an upcoming Facebook Live or on one of my videos. This was the gift that we were given for being presenters at the Holiday Hoopla, it was called. So, um, very appreciated. Absolutely love that. And then everybody also went home with this. And this is our Let It Snow embellishment kit. And I will be showing you this tonight because we're going to do um, a project with this. Um, oh, somebody just asked about gift paper. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to tell you that if you ask me a question and I don't answer you, I'm trying to stay off of commenting. But I'll do it here, of course, but typing in comments later. If you have a question later, please private message me and I will be happy to answer you. But at this point, I really can't because I don't want to get locked up again. And here comes Steve. What's up? Hi, it's Steve. <laughs> Here's Steve. Hang on. I'm going to turn my phone around. Da -da -da -da. There's Hello, Steve. everybody. <laughs> Just want you to know that I'm recuperating excellent. I actually mowed um. the lawn today. So thank you for your support. Carry on. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Carry on, Steve. <laughs> thank you, Steve. I was going to give you a Steve update, too. He is doing fantastic. His knee is... The incision is almost healed. Like, you know, you have scabs on it. That's kind of gross, but it's true. Um, and his incision is almost completely healed up. And he's walking without crutches or a cane or anything. You know, it's still swollen. It's still sore. But he's doing really, really good. So thank you guys so much for all your prayers and your well wishes. And um, all, your, all your get well cards that you sent him. Mm, he just so appreciated that. So um, if you have any questions for me private message me and I'll be happy to answer you, but I am not going to comment on posts that are coming in for at least probably the next week. I'm going to try to limit myself because I want to get out of jail and I want to get off this no fly list if, you know, kind of that's what it is. So, um, there are some of the really cute gifts. Oh, I was going to look and somebody was asking a question and yeah, Beth, we did get a lot of really great stuff. Um, I, I don't see the question now. I totally missed it. So if you want to ask your question again, it was something about the paper. Hi, Cindy Ellers. Welcome. And Melissa, thank you. Um, so we had three guest speakers. We also made like, I don't even know how many cards, like 10 or 12 cards. Oh, we got this little bag. And then we, it was empty, and then we put all of our cards that we make in them. And I'm kind of naughty because when I go to events, I tend to not make the cards, but I brought them all home, and I will make them at home. But this is how many cards we were, um, everybody was making at the event. We also made some framed art, which I didn't do yet. So um, I will. I I'm, I'm sure that I won't get blocked if you private message me. Somebody just asked that, but your name scrolled up my screen. Um, because even when I'm locked down, that I can't p click like or I can't comment, I can still use my messenger. So that's not a part of the jail thing. So thank you for asking that. But um, private messaging is, is fine so far. Who knows what will happen next week, right? <laughs> Nobody knows. And Cindy, thank you so much. This has been very frustrating. And like I said, Facebook is one of my biggest business platforms. Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. And one of my biggest platforms is being taken you know, away from me. I found a roundabout tonight. So um, please don't friend Steve on Facebook. He doesn't want to get a bunch of friend requests as much as he would like to be your friend. You really maybe don't want to see what he's doing. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but um, don't friend him. You don't need to be his friend to be able to watch me. So <laughs> I just want you to know that. Oh, Lisa says she knows of a lady that ki got kicked out of Messenger. How can you get kicked out of Messenger? That's crazy. I'm not worrying about Messenger because that has continued to work. So 
Sharon says, we love you no matter what. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kathy. I appreciate it too. Um, but the event, we made a whole bunch of things. I've got a 3D art project that I will probably put together for you um, at a, in maybe next week. I don't know. Um, I did give up my weekend of bear hunting to go to um, Crystal Lake. So that was kind of a big deal for me. And somebody just said they're watching Yellowstone right now. And I have my Yellowstone shirt on. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. What are the chances, right? Okay. Um, what else do I have for you here? Oh, thank you all for those of you that purchased my kit class. Oh my Lord, the response was better than I could have ever, ever expected. Um, the, the class has been sold out now. I put my order in, but here's the deal. I was hoping to mail out the kits on Saturday, like have them out in the mail by the 21st. So prior to that, because I'm leaving for the weekend. But I'm not going to be able to get my order until Monday. So, um, hi, Rick. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it is kind of funny that I was in Crystal Lake on Friday the 13th. But, um, so I will get those kits out early next week as soon as I possibly can. So I just want to let you guys know that. And I'll send out the PDF prior to that because there's a PDF file with all the videos. So yeah, thank you guys so much for making my very first um, product kit class so amazing because it actually scared me a little bit. Don't let that deter you. <laughs> but I was like, oh my Lord, there's so many. Um, so that was fun. And don't forget about the designer series paper, buy three, get one free. Um, that's going on for the whole month of September when you buy three of our designer series papers You can order three of the same one or three different ones You get to choose one for free and that does not include holiday mini catalog designer series paper And there is a list of ten different designer series papers that are included in that so <laughs> Vicki said I might have to take up pole dancing hmm. <laughs> I'm not above much <laughs> Just kidding I'm not going to pull dance. Okay, um, I do have a new online class coming out. This is not a product-based class, but um, it's the regular class that I offer every month. We're going to start doing something a little bit different with that. And if you order that from Dina or Barb, it is the same class. So you'll find that in the information that it's the same class Dina and Barb offer. This other kit class that I offered was totally something that we don't all collaborate with. But um, we're going to be using the Come Together Suite that includes the Gather Together stamp set and the Gathered Leaves dies. It's going to be our online class. We have um, four, eight, eight cards and then four more cards with a beautiful box. So you will be able to make 12 total cards in a beautiful box. And, um, oh, Vicki, I do remember the joke you sent me with the pole dancing. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that because I was like, hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Um, 12 cards with a box. That class is going to be $25 or, this is new, we're order, we're, I'm offering a cardstock pack where you'll get all the layers of cardstock. The punches, the punch stuff, the dyed images that are not part of the layered leaves, dyed images, die cut images. And um, if they're embossed with an embossing folder, they'll be embossed for you. But you'll get a cardstock pack for $40. So $25 for the online class, $40 if you want the cardstock pack where you can just pull it out and make the cards. Or if you order the bundle from me, you'll get... The online class for free and as a bonus you'll get the card stock pack when you order the bundle and the bundle um, price is $90 and um, you'll find a form you can fill out telling me that you want me to order the bundle for you so watch for all that information coming on Friday I'm super excited about this because uh, we haven't been um, giving we haven't been offering up a cardstock pack with our monthly online class and we're gonna start doing that now because we found that people really love it so um, Lynn is asking, what are my top four? My top four what? I don't know. So, oh, my top four DSPs? That's a really great question. And I don't have the list right here in front of me to tell me which ones are included in the promotion. But I will tell you my top four. 
Um, I absolutely love the Magnolia Lane. This one. That would be one of my top four. Also, I love the um, I love the Dynaroar bundle. Okay, so that would be included. And of course, the Bird Ballad papers are amazing. Um, Perennial Essence and the Sia Silhouette, those are both gorgeous. It depends on what kind of cards you like to make. Are you more bold in your colors or do you like to be a little more subdued? That would make a difference. I also, of course, love the um, Come Sail Away paper. And I don't know if the Mosaic Mood is part of the promotion, but I do love it. And then the pressed petals is beautiful too. So, you know, you're asking me a question that I can't really answer without kind of including everything. <laughs> Sorry. That wasn't helpful, was it? <laughs> Probably not. But anyways, I just wanted to let you know, don't forget about that promotion because it's not often you can get a um, pack of designer series paper for free, right? So that's, that's something cool. Okay, then... Um, People, sometimes people have been having problems using the host code when they place an order. And I just wanted to let you know, if you're ever in an order and it won't take the host code that I've given you, don't worry about it. Just put your order in. I can fix it on, on the back end of your order. So after you've placed your order, I can go in. Um, I actually contact Stampin' Up and I can have them fix it for you to use that host code. So I don't ever want you to be like, oh, I just wanted to get my order in and now it won't work and now I have to wait and come back later. Don't even. Just put your order in, send me an email and say, Kelly, the code wouldn't work and I will fix it. So don't worry about that. And then mailing selector. So I wanted to explain to you a little bit. When you get the mini catalogs, they're from me, but they're sent direct from Stampin' Up. That mailing selector, I have to choose you to go in there to 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 get selected to get that mini catalog. So I go through my list of customers and I click on who should get the mini catalog. But how I do that is I can sort who's placed an order in the last six months. And it's usually a little longer than that. Like our last mailing selector I was doing at the end of July and I said who had placed an order from January through July. And if your order is $50 or more in that long time span, I will send you, I will automatically send you a mini catalog. Um, the problem comes in where if you are, some of my customers are just a holiday catalog purchaser. Okay, so they don't buy the rest of the year, they just buy when it's time to make Christmas or Thanksgiving or Halloween cards. So you're not going to be in that last seven months of people that have placed an order from me. So please make sure, just email me and say, Kelly, I need a catalog. That's the way that I sort it. And honestly, it's um, very effective for me on a time standpoint because it's very time consuming to go through and select all that. So um, I just wanted to let you know that. Oh, and about my online kit class, the kit class where you got to order the kit, I will be sending out the PDF for that kit um, probably on Friday. So don't worry, you'll get the PDF with all the exclusive videos in it, but the actual kit with the cardstock layers and your ribbon and designer series paper and your wooden embellishments won't be going out until hopefully the 23rd. So it just depends on how long it takes me to get it all cut and packaged and in the mail. Um, so yay. All right. So we have winners and I, I'm going to be awarding two Facebook live things of winners. Does that make sense? I don't know how to say it, but I did. I forgot to, I came in late last week cause we were up North hunting. And so I didn't get a chance to go through, um, all the names and pick the winners and find their addresses and everything. So from my Facebook Live on September 1st, we have three winners. Our first one is Kay Rogers from Clarkston, Michigan. I found some striped um, Baker's twine and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be just perfect for Christmas time, right? So it is retired, but I found a little um, basket of stuff in my closet when I was looking for something, a brand new product that I had forgotten to give away. So this is for Kay Rogers of Clarkston, Michigan, and this is for commenting. So thank you very much, Kay, and congratulations. 
Next, we have for sharing the video is Joanne Prosser of Spring Hill, Florida. And Joanne, you are going to get this pack of garden impressions six by six. And again, I said a couple weeks ago that I had a bunch of six by six paper I found that had been unopened. So I'm going to award that as gifts also. I figure you guys would love it, right? And then for placing an order from the week prior to last week, I have Floral Essence, and my winner is Jill Hafner of West Liberty, Ohio. Jill, you're going to get this beautiful Floral Essence stamp set. Congratulations to all the winners from that week. Woohoo! I know, right? I'm going to set this back here so I don't lose it when we get crazy with stamping. Then I have winners from last week. And I have, I'm giving away for commenting, the Star Designer Elements. These are copper stars. They're beautiful. They're self-adhesive and they're coming to us from the Holiday Mini Catalog. This is going out to Barbara Stone of Voorheesville, New York. So congratulations, Barbara. And then for sharing the video, I have another pack of the Neutrals 6x6 Designer Series paper. This has all the neutrals. Whoops, I can't really, it doesn't really show good. Let me see if I can do that. All the neutrals in here. And this is going out to Linda Gilbert of Coon Rapids, Michigan. Congratulations, Linda. And then a stamp set from the Holiday Mini Catalog. And this is for the orders placed in the last week. And this is going out to Debbie Fiedler of Woodburn, Indiana. And Debbie, you're getting the tiny keepsakes. Now, this goes along with the, what did we call this again? <laughs> the keepsakes box. Yes, keepsakes. This is a die. And you put the die together with the stamp set and it's a bundle. So um, these stamps, these background stamps are big enough to stamp a piece of paper and then cut it out with this and it'll have the, the stripes on it or the checkered pattern. So yay. All right. Congratulations to everybody. Oh, and then if there's anybody watching me that was at the Crystal Lake event, I want to know who else stopped halfway home. Like I had a three and a half hour drive. Who stopped halfway home and went in their goodie box of 3D swap goodies and ate the candy? I might have done that. <laughs> No judging. <laughs> I have some more goodies to show you guys. So, I did the 3D swap. And I love 3D stuff. And this is what my 3D swap was. Let me see if I can get it in there. Okay? Yeah, isn't that cute? It's got Dove chocolates in it. So, I did the 3D swap. I had 23 of those. And I came home with a ton of beautiful, beautiful... 3D things because I love 3D stuff. I love fun folds. I love 3D stuff. This box had two homemade loaves, little loaves of bread in it. I don't know. They smell like banana bread. I know. I took them out already so I don't leave them in here and then they get moldy and gross, right? I put them in the kitchen so I would make sure that we ate them. But then I brought them in here so I would be able to show them to you. So I'm going to set those over there so I don't lose them. Also, Another um, little goodie that we I got in the swap that I sat in the kitchen and then grabbed and ran back in here with is this. And it says, oh, let me see if I can get in there. Hey there, pumpkin. And it's a little pumpkin cookie. And I think it's got some glaze on it. And I think it has pumpkin in the middle of it. So I also took that in the kitchen so that it wouldn't sit in my box here and mold um, so we can try it. I heard they're really, really good. All right, what else? These are some of our little bags. Isn't this just adorable? Look at how cute that is. Now, I know some of you have said to me that you're not into Halloween or you don't do Halloween or maybe you're in a different country and Halloween isn't popular there. All of this stuff that I'm showing you, step outside the box that it's Halloween. You could do this with a Christmas thing. You could put this in red and put a snowman on it and have the most cute little treat, right? And this has famous Amos chocolate chip cookie in it. You could put anything you wanted in here. Let me see who made this. Tammy Dalkey. I should be telling you guys because I did not make these items. This is from um, Francesca G. Okay. And let's see if this box has a name on it. I don't think it does. Did I open the box for you guys? I don't think I did. Yeah, there's no box on here, but 
Here's the box. Okay, so if there's a name on it, I'll tell you who made it. Look at these. They're pretzels dipped in colored chocolate with this cute monster. This is um, Boo to You, I think the stamp set is called. Isn't that adorable? And this was by Amanda Waldhart. This I love. And the eyeballs on here, hysterical. Now, Dina and I went shopping at Myers last night in close to Chicago. And they have these little eyeballs. Um buy the frosting cookie decorating thing. So that was, you could get a whole pack of various size of eyeballs. They were super, super cute. And then we have this one by Lynette Thorpe. Lynette put this cute label on here and then it's got a little belly band with the same treat box that I used for my swap. Well, let's center it there, there we go. So that was really cute. And then we have these little tins. This is an outside product, but look at how she decorated it. Isn't that super, super cute? Yeah, and inside the little tin is a little package of M&Ms. So let's see, does it say who made it? No, nope, I don't have a name in here. But super, super cute idea for little tins, right? And then, oh, these are our gold foil boxes. Look at how fun that is, and again, this is a Halloween box, but you could do this with Christmas stuff too. So I just, sometimes I feel like people are like, oh, she's making Halloween again. Well, it's Halloween season. It is my show and I love Halloween. But you can take all of this stuff I'm doing for Halloween and you can do Christmas or you can do Thanksgiving or New Year's or Valentine's Day. I don't know what's in this box, but it's, it's I don't want to, I don't want to untie it, but it feels like candy. And it says candy, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, here's another one. And this is by Robin Carolwitz. Look at this one. Isn't that just cute? Those cute little bat punches. You guys saw me use those on something recently. Yeah. And, oh, look at this. Boo to you. And she put it on one of those little spring-loaded things. Let me see if I can open this up. So isn't that cute? Yeah. And she just put some, oh, there's candy in here. I just thought it was black shred. So we've got some little Halloween candy with some skulls on it. That's really cute. Okay, let me put this, I wanna make sure that I'm not destroying my things. Now, I do two blog hops a month that require me to make 3D items. And so that's why I really wanted to be in this 3D swap because this will give me some great ideas. Okay, you guys ready for the keepsake box? Look at that. It's just a granny apple green box. And it's got a face on the front of it. How stinking cute is that? Absolutely adorable. Um, this is by Helen Teets. And then we have, look at this. There's a little window on the coffin. We're going to be playing with the coffin tonight. And then, oh, look at that. She, get, she has some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups in here. And she punched out one of the characters from the designer series paper and put it on the Reese's peanut butter cup. So that is super cute. And used our um, lace ribbon around the outside. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah, you should see me when I'm going through all these things. It's like, it's like a child in a candy store, literally. Here's another one. This is by Cindy Petrosky. And let me open this, because the bag might cause a lot of shine. This is super cute, tiny treat boxes again. And look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? She put our designer series paper in here. And then look at how cute those candies are. I have not seen those any place. Yeah, with the little eyeballs on them or whatever they are. But that is adorable. Here comes another one. Are you guys getting sick of me yet? <laughs> look at how cute this is. That's that boo to you. Okay, stamp set. And it says, just a little creepy, right? This is a little box, super cute, and it's got some candy in it. And then this is made by Connie Ward, super, super cute. Yeah, um, Karen is saying she needs those ornate frames. You do, because they're gonna be beautiful with everything. It's not just about Halloween. All right, so let me see. I think this might have had a bow on it someplace and it fell off. I've got, oh, yep, sure enough right on the test tube. Hang on. Look at how cute this is. 
Let me get it up there so you can see it. Eat, drink, and be scary. And look at that. Isn't that fun with some candy in it? Yeah. Cute little box. What else do I have in my little arsenal here? I'm going to open this one up so you guys can see it better. This is from, oh, did that say who it was from? What did I just put down? No, it didn't. Okay. Um, this is from Paula Clevenger. And Paula made this, this is like a little box. And then she pinched the sides together, not left it as a box, but pinched it. And look how cool that is. And she also embossed, clear embossing on it to make it look really cool. But that one says it's all about the candy. And again, there's those ornate frames, right? Looks like she um, used the uh, come together combo ribbon for the Cajun Craze little Baker's Twiner linen thread, I guess it's called. Um, bow. Then we have this cutie patootie. Look at how cute this is. Doesn't have to be about scary and creepy all the time. This is just adorable. And this is a little packet with some candy in it. And let me see if there's what's happening inside. This is by Cindy Kassanik. And look, a full size Kit Kat bar. That's staying right on my desk because I like me some Kit Kats. <laughs> okay. Then. Oh, um, one of my demonstrators that came to the event, I'm pretty sure this is Patty's. Oh, here it is. Yep, this is from Patty Skiba. She's one of my team members. This has a little hole in it. You can hang it on a door handle. Look at how cute this is, right? And she put some, I think it's, yep, Cracker Jacks. And I think this pencil was in there. It fell out in the box, but this Halloween pencil in there with some shred. She won, won, they had a contest, and she was one of the winners for the 3D stuff contest. So isn't that just fun? And look at the cat. It's got rhinestone eyes, and she used that little bat, too, from that um, seasonal something or another punch set. Okay, then we've got this. This was really cool, right? And let's see if we know who made this. I forgot to put my name on mine, which is fine. Sue Comer. Sue Comer made this. And, oh, look at the, the gummy worms. So that's kind of fun for a little Halloween treat. Now, of course, again, you could decorate this these little pillow boxes. We sell these. You could decorate this up with Christmas or Valentine's Day or Thanksgiving or whatever. Okay, last but not least. Oh, my gosh, this is so adorable. This is by Lisa Lang. I was happy to meet Lisa because I think Lisa watches me all the time. And um, I was really excited to meet her. So she had a baker's twine string on here and it was tied in a bow. I untied it because I was dumb and didn't realize how this thing worked. But this is one of our little coffins. And I'm going to open it for you guys. Ready? Yeah, so you can do a pop-up inside of a box, any type of a box, have that pop-up. She's just got a piece of our window sheet acetate on the back, and that never will stay like this. It doesn't, like, get a crink in it and stay there. So, yeah, isn't that cute? <laughs> With some great candy. Oh, there's more Kit Kats in there, too, so I'll be keeping that one on my desk, too. Does anybody else, like, go through and eat all your candy that you get? In these things. I love to do that. All right, you guys, give me just a second. Did I miss anybody's questions? Because I'm seeing lots of comments coming up, which I love, but I don't think anybody's asked a question that I've missed at all. So I'm hoping that's the case. Let me put all these away. And of course, I want to do it nicely so that I don't destroy them because ugh, people work so hard on them and I can't wait to recreate these with different stamp sets and different colors and different paper and oh I gotta keep that pumpkin cookie out because we're gonna try that baby. <laughs> Sharon says she eats the candy too. I always eat the candy. Well sometimes I find can candy in stuff that I put away that's really old and in that case I'll look at it. Sometimes I'll eat it but sometimes not because <laughs> it's like kind of grayish not moldy but you know how chocolate gets old sometimes I forget okay let me get this out of my way and I think that is all the goodies that I had to show you from my trip 
and I hope you guys don't mind the delay in stamping so you could see all that stuff because I know as a stamper I love to see that stuff so I just wanted to make sure I showed it to you too um yeah we're done with all that and I think we're ready to stamp okay good I'm glad you guys like that thank you now remember whether you're watching now or later on Facebook or YouTube click on that share button give me a thumbs up I appreciate it it helps me out even though you know I keep getting locked in jail it does help me out oh Okay, I've got a list here because I had to pull some stuff out of my project to take with me for the make and takes when we went to Crystal Lake. So I've got my blends that I need to um, grab. I'm going to get my basket unloaded here. Thank you, Marjean. Marjean said such great ideas. Karen really enjoyed the 3D stuff. Thank you guys so much because I love to be able to share that with you. And if you guys have ever thought about... Being on a team, I'd love to have you on my team. Um, we have gatherings. We have team meetings every month. If you're not local, you can watch on a Facebook Live just like this. They're really fun. This last meeting, my last meeting was last week, and um, there were three different demonstrators that demonstrated really cool stuff to us. And you can see that, and you can recreate it at home. It's just a lot of fun. Now, you don't have to build a business like I have. You don't have to ever demonstrate. You don't ever have to do any of that. You can be a discount shopper. The majority of my team are discount shoppers, and I love all of them. Business builder, discount shopper, does. we don't judge. We do not judge. But if you're a big stamper, you might as well be getting a discount on your product and join my team to save some money and it's a whole new world. If you're here and you're watching me, you want to be a part of my team world. And Sarah says, love being on your team. And Sarah, thank you so much because I appreciate that. But you definitely want to be on a team where you get to share all this other stuff because what I do here on Sunday night is just a small fraction of what I share with my team. It's super fun. So think about that. If you have any questions, you can private message me or email me at kelly at stampabove.com. I would be happy to give you the link that tells all about the kit. You get to order $125 with a product for only $99 and no shipping fees on that kit. It's super fun. And you get to make it anything you want. You, there's not like you're going to get this in your kit. You get to pick everything you want. You could pick the Monster Bash enamel shapes. You could pick the metallic pearls. You could buy ink pad stamp sets, stamp and blends. If you've got an order that's around $100, okay, because it's a $99, $99 kit is what it costs. If you get, um, if you, somebody just said, what is on your TV behind you? I have it muted and I had it paused. But I'm going to turn it off because it's distracting, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I forgot about that reflection. I don't have any window coverings on yet. I still need to get them. But anyways, um, <laughs> if you have an order that's around $100, you should order the kit and get access to my team. You will love it. And um, yeah, there's some requirements that you have to do. It's all in the link that I will send you if you want more information about that. But even if you don't meet the requirements, there's no hard feelings. I don't go, oh, that Diana didn't meet the qualifications and now she's not active anymore. I never do that. I tell you, if you don't meet the qualifications, you can continue to order from me. I'll still be your friend. Doesn't matter, but you should be getting your stuff at a discount. You just should. Okay, let's flip the camera around and do some stamping. And I'm going to turn on my fan because I am starting to have a hot flash. Who else gets those? Aren't they wonderful? <laughs> Hang on. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I don't want anybody throwing up. That's not cool. And I'm going to get you set up here. And then I have to unmirror my phone. So hang with me for a second. I think I do it right here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're looking good, right? Okay. Um, let me turn my fan on. I'm going to turn it on low. Maybe it won't be as loud. And I know that when I flip my phone over, I get a little bit, the volume goes down. It's just the nature of what it is, and there's nothing I can do about it. So... Turn your volume up on your end or put an earbud in and you will be able to hear me just fine. I watch this playback or replay on Facebook after I posted it to the page and I can hear it just fine on my laptop. So um, turn your volume up if you need to. 
and I don't mean to sound so bossy, but I am kind of a bossy person. I'm just going to tell you that. Maybe for a little while I'll stand up because I was sitting for so long today in the car. We'll see how long I can stand. Um, and that'll be a little bit louder for you. All right, we are going to be using the Monster Bash Designer Series paper. I have shown this to you. Now, people have been asking where they want this. They want somebody to make it for them. They're demonstrators and they want this. Nobody's going to make this for you, so forget it. Um, I can't send you this file because it's a meeting service that I pay for. But I can tell you, all you do is type the name of the paper and the coordinating colors on here, just on a plain piece of white cardstock, print it out on your printer. These squares are two by two, and these circles are one inches each. Make your own. Nobody's going to make it for you. That's the way that's going to go. <laughs> I know. I sound really bossy, don't I? But there's been so many questions, and it seems like every time I do, every time I show this, I talk about it and tell you how to do it, but people are not there. I don't know if they think I'm lying or... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're just not paying attention, but you have to make it yourself. Okay. Pumpkin pie. Eight and a half by five and a half. I just folded that. Then I have a piece of the Haunted House Designer Series paper. And this is two inches wide by nine and a half inches long. Okay. This has got the mazes. Like, you know, that's kind of part of Halloween, too, is going through the mazes. But here's this beautiful Haunted House paper. And then I have a piece of Whisper White. This is for the inside. This is for four by five and a quarter. Thank you, Kathy, for sharing. Then I've got, um, let me see. Hang on, i got to think about this a little bit because, oh, I think these are just scraps. Now remember, I was gone all weekend, so I made these last week, so we may fumble through this card until we get it right because I have such a bad memory, like I don't even know if I remember how to make it. Oh, a scrap of black and then two black panels. I know, you guys can laugh with me or at me. It's fine. Um, it is what it is. These two pieces are the same size, and they're one and seven eighths by five and a quarter, okay? So first thing I think we're gonna do is we are going to take the embossing folder, and I'm gonna open up to this page where all of these things are. This is the Stylish Scroll embossing folder. It's part of this whole suite. And we're going to emboss these two pieces. Now you can put both of them in at the same time. They don't have to be even or whatever. It doesn't really make any difference for, you know, well, they should kind of be straight, I guess. So forget what I just said. Run them through your big shot. And of course, I've already done that for us because we all know how to do big shot stuff. How's my lighting, you guys? Is it okay? Like, I think it's okay. Um, okay, then... We are going to, where's my stamp set? Oh, here it is. All right, this is the Spooktacular Bash stamp set. And again, if Halloween is not your thing, this is a fun fold and you can use it for any occasion. So I always try to provide you with lots of options, right? We're gonna take this ornate frame from the ornate frame set and we're going to run it through on the pumpkin pie cardstock. And then we are going to take, I love this little frame. This is really fun. We're gonna run that through on the black and then we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on here. So let me get my little, this is one of our piercing mats and I just cover this up with um, white printer paper. And it's a good surface to stamp on. This is kind of a textured table and um, it stamps fine, but I just like to use this pad because things stamp better on the pad. We're gonna bring in our Memento Black Ink. Holy cow, I've got 400 people watching. Yay, thank you guys so much. You don't even know how happy that makes me. We're gonna do the Have a Spooktacular Halloween. Oh, I think I'll need that again, but I'll just close it up for right now. And I love the die that's in here because it fits on here just perfect, right? Okay, we're going to die cut this. We're going to die cut this. And we're going to die cut this little jewel. And through the magic of TV, I have it done already. Okay, I don't want you waiting for me on the big shot because that's boring. Not the big shot. The big shot is a lot of fun, but waiting for me would be boring. All right, so here's what we're going to do. 
we're going to take this fun little frame and um, you could stamp something and put it in here like words, but I like to use it just as an embellishment. I think it's just fun. I'm going to add some glue to the back and I'm going to put, well, I'm going to try and center it. How about that, Kelly? Try to get it centered. Center this right in the middle here. And then we're going to take some dimensionals. Oh, those are minis. Let me grab the real size ones. Did you guys know we have black dimensionals? We do. And they're in the holiday mini catalog. Just look for them. They're really cool. Somebody the other day when I said something about black dimensionals, they're like, what? Where's black dimensionals? Um, they're in the mini catalog. Let me see if I can find them quick because right here on page 55, black dimensionals. So I didn't know this, but you get a pack of standard size like these. And you get a pack of the minis in one pack of black dimensionals. So there's 400, there's 200 big dimensionals and 480 tiny ones for six dollars. Boom, that's a deal, right? Oh, hang on, I got things falling. Steve said he vacuumed while I was gone, which was awesome, but he didn't vacuum in my office, so we're gonna have to have a chat. <laughs> Probably we won't. <laughs> But it sounded good, didn't it? Um, yeah, he made me supper tonight. He's cooking again, so that's awesome. And he made me supper. We had grilled. Oh, you know what? I was supposed to cut this, you guys. I forgot. Hang on. Let me see if I can fix it. Just to be a little bit longer. So you can cut this and elongate it behind your layers. Look at that. No big deal. Make this come up here a little bit further. That's what, see, this is why I don't do things ahead of time. Yeah, Nancy said she completely missed the black dimensionals too, and they're so cool. Now, it's really good if your pieces are straight, so you work on yours better than I did mine, but I'm just going to put this in here, just like this. You're just going to center this in the middle. Isn't that cool? It's a cool little card element. All right, then, oh, I did that wrong. Hang on. Let me grab another piece of pumpkin pie because I just messed that up. We'll use that for something else. Here comes my paper trimmer. So this is five and a half by eight and a half and we are going to score it at two and an eighth, okay? We're gonna just start over in this part. Glad we didn't get too far. And then when I make a gatefold card, I don't like to score this other side because I never can get it right. Like it doesn't meet up in the middle, but I can take it and push it up against, butt it up against the other side. And now I can make it absolutely perfect, right? So if you're ever doing a gatefold, my recommendation, score it two and an eighth and then bring it in like this so that it's perfect. That's the way I like to do it. We're gonna take both of these pieces, and I think I have to give Kathy Beck a shout out for this card because we had a team meeting last week, and I believe this was one of her swap cards. We do a swap at our meeting, and again, if my team members are long distance, they can mail their swaps in and swap with us, and they get mailed back. So that's a pretty cool deal too, but this was Kathy Beck's card, and I thought, oh, well, it's similar to this. I changed it just a couple little things because I don't know I didn't have something she had or something I don't I don't even remember but this is basically her card so I want to give her a shout out one of my longtime team members then what are we gonna do with this piece well we're gonna use it to make a belly band and I am going to just kind of overlap this a little bit I'm pinching it here. You could figure out the measurements and score it, but oh, that's just a lot of work if you don't have to, right? I'm gonna wrap this around. You don't want it to be super tight because it needs to come off so they can open their card. So I'm not gonna pull it real tight. We're gonna add some glue there. You could use tear and tape. That would work fine too. And then we're going to glue this piece to that belly band. Be careful you don't get glue where you shouldn't have it. You know what I'm, you guys all know what I mean, right? Oh my gosh, I've got 414 watching. That's crazy. You know, some of Steve's friends might be coming in here watching because this is his Facebook account. <laughs> oh, 
that's funny. Okay. That's what he said, too. He was worried about that. He's like, people are going to be watching. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, whatever. He was. He wasn't. Um, he wasn't cranky about me using his Facebook account because he knows how important this is to my business and that I love you guys so much. And he does, too. <laughs> we couldn't leave you stranded. So we're going to say, so glad we're such ghoul friends. And then I'm going to take these fun little specimen jars. Aren't they cute? We're going to put those in there. And I want to color them a little bit. So I'm going to grab, hang on, I'm going to grab... Highland Heather. Nope, I'm in, I need the dark one. Hang on a second. Here's Dark Highland Heather. And I'm using the blends because I like them better. So somebody asked me last week, what do I prefer? Do I prefer the blends or do I prefer the Stampin' Write markers? Or It just depends on what you're using them for, really. Um, that makes up you know, the difference in why I would choose one over the other. Hang on, I'm looking for gray granite. Where is that? Here, that's dark. I want, whoops, I want light. Sorry I didn't have these. I put them all away when I got home because I was being so organized, which never happens. <laughs> yeah, you guys know me well. That's not something that's really in my vocabulary a lot. I know you guys all think I'm super organized, and maybe I am organ more organized than the average bear, but I sure don't feel like it most of the time, I'll tell you that. So I'm just going to color. I'm coloring in between the bones here. Color in that jar, and then we need our granny apple green for our cute little frog that is trapped in this jar. I feel bad for him. Not really. He's not real. Just a jar. Just a picture of a frog. Okay, there we go. Isn't that cute? That is super cute. I love that. Okay, here's our glue. We're going to stick this in the inside of our gate fold card. A Shawnee says she loves the blends too. I really do too. I mean, they are so nice to color with. And, you know, usually I would have used regular Stampin' Write markers for something this little because I'm not shading anything, but I just go to these all the time. I love them. And here is, we have one more thing to do before we're done with this super cute card. And again, don't forget, you can do Valentine's, Christmas, Thanksgiving, fall, whatever. But this is just a neat way to make a card. Um, where did my, oh, here's my embellishments. So these are the little metallic pearls. And this is what Kathy did with her card that I thought, oh, that's so clever. Because they look really neat on here. Did you guys know we had these? You get a card of silver and a card of gold in these pearls. Let me grab my take your pick tool. And I'm going to pop one right up here. And it's just that tiny little embellishment that really caught my eye on Kathy's card. And I'm like, oh, I love that. Right? Those are the little things that take your cards above the rest. Don't forget your little embellishments. But don't embellish the heck out of them either because that's not, that doesn't look good. <laughs> There's a fine balance. There we go. What do you guys think? Pretty cool? Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to set these. Oh, I can, I can keep those out. Hang on. I'm going to put some of this stuff away so that. I'm going to need to clean this too. I forgot to go get my chamois wet, so I hope. Oh yeah, it's still damp. Um, funny thing, I just pulled the chamois out. There are some pictures on my desk because we're still putting wedding stuff away or trying to get rid of some of the decorations that we made, but I have to show you some pictures. These are laying on the edge of my desk. That's my husband with hair. What do you think? Mm-hmm. This was our wedding. Look at, oh my gosh, look how young we were. Well, I was actually like late 20s. He was early 30s, I think. But look, he has hair. Oh, and then look at this. There's me with blonde hair and my stepdaughter Stephanie and Haley. And there Steve is going bald. Aren't these cute? Yeah, so these were just sitting on the side of my desk. And I thought, oh, I have to show everybody those. Super fun. Um, okay, we have our card done now. Let me move something out of the way here. I've got another really cute project to share with you. 
I'm going to set this over to the side and bring in all my bits and pieces. Okay, we are going to be using the coffin treat boxes, and these are part of that um, spectacular bash or monster bash suite that we're using with the paper and the stamp set and the ornate frames. And these are really fun because they're all scored for us. And I just wanted to show you a neat little thing to do with these or any other type of box. And again, this is a coffin because it's Halloween. But you could certainly use it on any type of a box. You don't have to use a coffin box. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to bring in the new masks. These are the basic pattern decorative masks. And there's four different masks in here. You guys saw me use these um, with some embossing paste, right? So we've got polka dots. We've got let me this, whatever you call it. I don't know. And then we have these trees. You saw me make a cool card with that for Christmas with the embossing paste. We're going to use the ornate frames here. Let me find a basket so I can put this stuff back. Where did my basket go? Oh, there it is. got to get some of the stuff out of my way, so just hang tight. Okay, um, we're going to take a sponge, and I've just got it in this bag because so, we're using white craft ink. And so you have a trimmer on the inside and the enamel shape. Okay, I wrote myself a little note because I knew I would forget by the time I got to make this stuff for you guys. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? That's, that's, how I, that's how I operate. Can't remember a thing. I'm just going to take this mask and set it down. And I've got my white craft pad. And yes, we do sell a white craft pad. And I'm just going to come on here and do a little stenciling so that my coffin looks super, super cool. And you could do this on the top and the bottom. I am doing it, I think this is, I don't know what's, I think this is the top. Yeah, this is just the top. The other piece is the bottom. I think it just moved a little bit. But you need to keep it really still and look at how cool that is. What do you guys think? Ah. Okay, somebody says their husband is 75. He's still got a thick head of hair. Isn't he lucky? What are you guys drinking tonight? I have my strawberry lemonade. Mm. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. I forgot to show you the cards in the mail, and I got a gift in the mail. So when we're done stamping, I will show you those. I've got quite a pile of them, okay? I, I just looked over at mine. I'm like, oh, I didn't show anybody that. I'll show you those, too, because there's some pretty cool things. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and all you do is fold on all the score lines. And, of course, you probably want to burnish these with your bone folder, because that's, you know, we always do that. But for these purposes, I'm not going to tonight. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know if my box falls apart or not or pops open or, yeah. Now, you can use tear and tape with boxes or you can use the liquid glue. And I'm going to be using the glue. Look at how easy this is. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like to tuck my tabs in, okay? So I know that I'm going to need glue on my tabs. So a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue there, a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue there. I'm not going to say it again because you're going to go, oh my gosh, she's getting so annoying. <laughs> All right, we've got wine, we've got Diet Coke. Rhonda says she loves seeing the cards that I share. I love sharing them. Everybody is so creative, aren't they? And just the fact that people are sending me cards, I, I just, it touches my heart. I mean, it really does. It's like, wow, that's cool, right? Okay, you just take all these little tabs. Press them in. You kind of want to look at the outside and make sure you're squaring things up, right? Pull these two in. Ooh, I don't know if I folded that or not. I hope that doesn't pop out. But again, you could use tear and tape or the liquid glue. Okay, here we go. And then here's our lid. I'm going to do the same thing with that. I'm just going to put glue on the tabs you guys have anything exciting happening this week 
I don't know that I do. I was just online looking for airline flights. Um, I have an aunt that lives in Kansas, and she's not doing that great. I think she, I can't remember if she had a stroke or a heart attack. But um, my mom, she usually comes up and spends about a month with my mom in Wisconsin. And my mom said she thinks that she should go visit her because she couldn't come up this summer because of the of the medical issues. So I told my mom, I don't know, I don't really want her traveling, you know, by herself um, down to Kansas. So I told her that I would go with her. Oh, did I say something besides liquid? Oh, Charlene means liquid adhesive. I'm like, what? I'm like, did I say something wrong? So anyways, I was looking up airline flights to uh, Kansas City. Funny little thing. I don't know if I have any viewers or followers in Belton, Missouri, but... I lived there until I was 11 years old. We used to live in Missouri. And I thought, oh, I would love to go back and see my house and my school. And um, we lived in town, but we boarded our horses out in the country and go see the horse farm again. And, you know, just a reminiscing type thing I think would be really fun. So they had really cheap flights out of Minneapolis, which I would drive to my mom's house and then we'd go up to Minneapolis. They had really cheap flights from there to Kansas City, Missouri. I might be going to Kansas City in October. We'll see. Oh, thank you guys so much. Yeah, my Aunt Sharon is my dad's sister. and My dad passed away back in 2012. So, yeah, it's kind of sad when everybody's getting old, right? But it's better than, it's good they're getting old because otherwise they wouldn't be alive, right? Huh. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a piece of pumpkin pie. This is just four and a quarter by five and a half. It's a, it's a quarter sheet of paper. Oh, did I show you this? I'm like yakety yakking. This is our little coffin. And isn't that just sweet? It looks really cool with this, don't you think? I think so. I'm just going to score this in half. So I'm going to score it at two and a quarter. Or I mean two and an eighth. Not two and a quarter, two and an eighth. We're going to score it in half, just like this. And then we're going to take our coffin, and I'm just going to use, I'm going to use the bottom here. We're going to line up that fold line with the edge of the coffin, okay? Then I'm going to grab one of my handy dandy pencils. And I'm just going to trace this. Now, this is a project that was made at a demonstrator gathering where I was a guest presenter a few weeks ago. Gosh, it sounds like that's all I'm doing, but it really isn't. Um, we had a wonderful time. My upline had a um, demonstrator gathering that was really fun. Okay, I'm going to grab my scissors. Hang on, my tear is falling off. <laughs> we can't have our tear falling off. I would be more careful... Don't get pencil marks all over the place like I just did, because that's not cool. But we're going to trim this off, just like this. Do you guys see what I'm doing? Do you want, do you, have you guessed what this is going to be now? You want to trim slightly inside the lines, too, because it needs to be just a tad smaller than the one that we just traced out. Okay, now I'm going to take that embossing folder... Where did it go? Does anybody see it here? Any place? Embossing folder. Hmm. Hang on. It's gotta be here someplace. Oh, here it is. I found it. You're gonna take your embossing folder and <clears throat> you want the side that has the Stampin' Up logo on it to be the side that you're gonna emboss with. So line up your little coffin piece right here and we're going to run that through the big shot okay um and of course through the magic of tv i've already done that and this is what you get so this is going to be a little coffin shaped card and we are going to take our black and pumpkin pie scrap and then we also have a scrap of the designer series paper here and we need to die cut. We're going to take the paper and die cut this again out of that. And then I love this little like picture frame die that we have here. OK, 
Okay, we're going to die cut that out of the orange. And then we've got one more die in here we're going to use. We're going to use this one. And we're going to die cut that on the black. Hang on, let me get this all back in here. Okay, so we've got this. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get a drink. My throat is just a little scratchy. Oh, I, I didn't see what happened, but I'm sorry for your loss, Diane, also. I'm so sorry. It's always hard to lose people, right? Okay, now, once we cut this out, we're going to end up with this cutie patootie. You also end up with a little square that came out of the middle, which you can then take and put on any of these little images and cut it out, which is what I did here of this little Dracula guy. So I'm going to put that little Dracula in my picture frame. And then we've got this image that was cut out and then also this one. So what I'm going to do here is, let's see, oh, I think I'm missing something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to glue this down right on here. I'm just going to wing it and try to center it. We'll see how it works. Then we're going to glue this down. You could use mini glue dots on here too. They might be a little big. You might have to roll them, but that would work sufficiently. And then the frame. Okay, that turned out pretty good, right? And then I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Huh. Not sure. Not sure what my idea was there. See, I didn't actually make this one yet. We're going to take this and add it to here. Pretty sure that's what I had planned. So again, I'm going to cut this and make it a little bit longer. Add some glue. Put this right up here. And then... <laughs> thank you, Kathy. Kathy says, adorable! Yeah, and that's just the designer paper, right? So that's a really cool thing to do with, you've got all these little images in here that you can frame up with this frame set too. Now I'm gonna add some dimensionals to the back of this layer. I'm gonna do this, just like that. Isn't that cool? Okay, and hmm, I don't know if I really want to stamp anything in here or not. I think I'm going to leave it blank for now, but you could certainly stamp some stuff in there. For the front of the box, we're going to take a little piece of the black scalloped ribbon that is part of this suite, and we're going to do one of these little deals. So I'm going to grab my mini glue dots. Are you guys still with me? Nobody's sleeping, right? <laughs> Don't fall asleep on me. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to make pretty things. <laughs> All right. Oops, I just kind of messed that up, but that's okay. I'm just going to take another glue dot, put this right on here. And then I also stamped the Open If You Dare, which is the stamp that's in here, and die cut it with the dies, and then put a pumpkin pie layer behind that. And I think we will use some more mini glue dots on here because this is actually, well, nope, you know what? I'm going to do some mini dimensionals on each side because I don't want them sticking to the ribbon. Um, things don't stick well to ribbons. Mini glue dots do and regular scotch tape, but for the most part, other things don't stick real good. So I just put them on each side here. So now they're going to stick to the box. I hope that makes sense, you guys. So, um, cause I've had things fall apart before. All right. So here we go. What are we going to do with this? 
I remember this is one of the projects that we made at a demo gathering a couple weeks ago. Fill it up with those cute little candy kisses. This fits right in your box. You can write inside the card. You can stamp some little things in there. And here is your adorable little coffin. When you open it up, voila, you have a coffin card. Isn't that cute? I love it. And now, whoops, hang on. Now we have a card and a little gift thing. This would be perfect to take to your coworkers at work or give to your neighbors. Or like I said, you have a favorite teller at a bank or your favorite clerk at your store or just some place that you frequent that you'd like to do something a little special. They would, you would totally make their day if you took this and gave it to them. Very cool. And then I was just thinking too, if you wanted to, instead of using this embossing folder on these two black panels, you could do the stenciling with the decorative mask and then your card would completely match with your little tombstone box. Yeah, cool, right? I thought so. Now, what are we going to do with this? I am going to, you could take it and just wash it in your sink. Since I don't have a sink right here, I'm just going to wipe it off. Be careful so you don't bend up any of the little intricate pieces. You know what I mean? So you want to kind of just dab it or take it to your sink and just run it right under the water. That'll work too. Perfectly fine. Now, these were called the basic pattern decorative masks, and they are in the holiday mini catalog. Let me find them for you if it doesn't take too long. Let's see if I can come up with them. Yep, I've already passed them someplace in here. Don't you guys love this mini catalog? There's just so many beautiful things in here. See if Kelly can find them. Does anybody know what page they're on? I'm going to run into them here pretty soon. Or I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't know. They're in here someplace. Somebody will find them and tell us. 35! Thank you so much. Who told me that? Noreen. Thank you so much, Noreen. You're the first one I saw anyways. Here they are, right here. They kind of go along with the background pattern for this cup of Christmas stamp set. We'll be using that soon too. So there you go. Okay. Let's see. Now I have one more. What time is it? Oh, it's only 8.16. Are you guys up for one more card? I think we have time to do one more card. And if you can't watch, just go ahead and go to bed or do what you need to do. And you can come back after I've posted this and watch this when it's convenient. So don't ever worry about that. And I know I'm, you're going to miss out on seeing all the cards that I'm going to show at the end tonight. But you can, you can catch it if you have to go to bed. You can catch it later. Okay, I'm going to set these over to the side. Where did my other card go that I made? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, this is the only, is this the only card I made so far? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. See? There's my memory. It, it's kind of pathetic, right? Like, like Kelly, really? Yeah, really, you guys. Really. Okay, next we're going to get away from Halloween. So for those of you that are not really into Halloween, you're going to want to stick around. I'm going to bring in... Oh, shoot. I forgot this. Yeah, you could add any one of these on here. These Monster Bash enamel shapes are super, super cute, you guys. Let's see, what do we want to add? I'm thinking maybe a tombstone would be really cute. Get under there, there we go. Thinking a tombstone, hmm. maybe right down here. And then I would stamp some type of a greeting in here. Maybe the eat, let's see, where is that? Eat, drink, and be scary. That's why I had this mounted. See, I didn't remember what I planned on doing with the inside. Let's finish one thing before we get on to another. Look how cute that is. Yeah, and you get birds, dots, gray and black, and then the tombstones and the skulls. So, pretty cute. Sorry, 
Sorry, we jumped backwards. Squirrel. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that's how things go, right? <laughs> I'm going to be using this beautiful stuff and a red glimmer paper that's in the holiday mini catalog. That's always fun for Christmas, right? Did I miss any questions, you guys? If I did, I'm kind of looking at comments right now, but it's hard for me to watch comments and think and stamp. You guys know that it's a problem for me. I know some people can do it really good. I'm not one of them. It is what it is. We learn to work around our deficiencies, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here, we're going to use the adorable little snowman punch. And also, oh, no, I'm sorry, I just lied. Um, we're using the snowman season, but this comes with a bundle with this punch, which is stinking adorable. We're not using the punch tonight, but I'm going to show you some other things. Still hot. Remember I said I would show you the snowman embellishment kit? Look at how cute this is. You get some um, glittery washi tape. You get some little snowballs. You can make a little shaker card if you wanted to. But look at these enamel shapes. You've got arms, arms and noses and coal buttons and eyeballs. Super, super cute. So that's what our gift was at the event I went to this weekend. And they put a cute little band on it. Yeah, that's what's in this box. And then look at these felt embellishments. These are so cute. They're sewn on. And they're all die cut. Little hats. Little scarves. Little mittens. And you get... Pool party, garden green, I think this is flirty flamingo, and real red. Look at the scarves. Aren't they so cute? Yeah, these little embellishment kits are adorable. I love these. Super, super cute. And you get this cute little box, so that's fun. You could buy the box of embellishments. You could make up a bunch of cards and put them back in the box and use all the elements in it and give this as a beautiful little gift, right? Okay. We have a card to make, and because I wanted to kind of um, follow through with the, nah, Halloween really isn't my thing, but the last card that I made, the gatefold card, you can certainly do that with anything, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. So, hang on, let me fan myself. Holy cow, I'm sweating here. And... Here we go with our cardstock layers. I've got real red at eight and a half by five and a half. And again, I've scored it at that two and an eighth mark. We're gonna burnish that edge good and then we're gonna bring in the side so that it fits perfectly. Melanie says her battery's dying on her phone. What just happened? Did something happen, Linda? Nothing's happening on my end. I think you guys are still here, right? Then I've got two pieces of this beautiful designer series paper. These are one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Jenny. <laughs> plug it in. Plug your phone in, Melanie. Um, and then I've got a whisper white scrap. I've got an envelope here, so we don't forget to do that. Some glimmer paper, a scrap of glimmer paper, designer series paper. This is four by five and a quarter, and then a whisper white layer that is, hmm, that is nothing. <laughs> Let me measure. I didn't write it down. This is three and a half by four and three quarters. Did I not write that down? I sure didn't. Okay. So this one's going to be just a tiny bit different. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do our inside up. So we're going to do a little bit of stamping. Hang on while I get myself together here. Now I'm using the Snowman Season stamp set. And you can find 
all of this in the mini catalog. Did you like how I licked my finger to turn my pages and said catalog? Yeah, I almost choked on it right here on page 18, 19, and 20, 21. So there's two bundles actually included, um, two different bundles. You've got this bundle with the curvy keepsake, the tiny keepsakes box, mini curvy keepsake box die, and also this set that I gave away tonight. And then you've got the rest of this. This is a suite that you can get. You can get the whole suite for $132, and that includes two bundles. The box with the background stamp set and also the snowman with the punch. You get the winter knit embossing folder, DSP, red glimmer paper, some ribbon, puff fall accent puff paint, or snowfall, I mean, let it snow embellishment kit. So you also get this kit included in there. And I have to tell you, this is going to be my next online class. So um, just know that if you order this suite from me, you will get the online class free, even before I release the online class. So just know that if, if I say that I'm going to do an online class with something, and if you order the suite from me, you get it for free. Um... You can come back later and go, hey, Kelly, you just put out that class, and I did order this from you back in September, and I'll send you the class for free. So just don't think that I'm ever going to go, oh, that was, you didn't, you know, you didn't meet the right deadline or whatever. I'm not like that. That's craziness. Okay, so we're going to stamp this up. I've got Coastal Cabana ink and Real Red, and we're going to take the Coastal Cabana and I want to make sure, yep, that's the right color. So all the colors are back here in this designer series paper. Now this is a specialty designer series paper. And it says, hoping the season builds heartwarming memories. And then I'm going to go with the real red for the Merry Christmas. Isn't that pretty? Those two colors are not something I would have put together. But because they're in here... Um, in the designer series paper, they're just really pretty. I love them. Okay, we're going to add this. Now, I know this is probably going to pain you guys, but I really liked this look. I am adding this to the inside of my card, and you know that I like the insides to be pretty, too. And then... I'll show you all of this paper in just a second because it is spectacular. It's a specialty paper. It has glitter, embossed glitter on it. This is going to be the inside of our card. The outside, let me move these before I destroy something. We're going to go like this. So this is a funny story. I have a customer who will not buy designer series paper because she is angry that she has to pick which side to use because all of our paper is double sided with a print here and a print here. Isn't that funny? You know, everybody has their own thing, right? <laughs> and that's her thing. She does not like to have to choose. It's so cute. Okay, then let's see. Do I have, I thought I had a strip designer series paper, but I guess maybe I don't. I'll put it away. We'll see. This designer series paper strip is two by nine and a half. And oh, oh, that's not it. Whatever. Okay, <laughs> whatever. This is going to be our belly band. So I'm going to fold this over. Aren't these striking colors? And then I like to push it off so I can make sure that I've got it even here where I'm folding it. I don't want to get around to the other side and have it just be all wacky. Again, I'm not going to push it or pull it real tight. Add some glue here or tear and tape would work fine too. <coughs> My throat is still dry. Vicki says that pains her too. It does, right? But it doesn't prevent you from using our paper. And then we're going to take a scrap of the glimmer paper and we are going to use our layering circle scallop one. We're going to take a scrap of the whisper white and cut out the stitched shapes circle. And of course, I have already done that. 
Okay, so there's a couple different ways you can do this card. I thought of a couple different ways. I'm going to take this cutie patootie little snowman and stamp him right on this whisper white layer. And then these are the um, blends that I needed that I took with me to Illinois. So now I got to find them again. I've got the dark red. Why would I pull that out? I'm not quite sure, so hang on, I'll put that back. Um, here are Pool Party, that's what I wanted, Pool Party. I wrote these down someplace so I knew which ones I needed to pull out, but apparently, oh, here it is. Pool Party, oh, and Dark Pumpkin, there we go, of course. Okay, so I'm going to take the Pool Party, and I'm going to color in these little snowball-y, snowflake things. And then I'm going to go around and just do the edges of my snowman because that's just going to really make your snowman look cute. A little bit of snow here. Maybe I'm going to take it and kind of go like this. And a little bit around here. I'll, I'll give you a close up here in just a second. And then, yeah. Lynette says she likes the stamp set. It is so cute, and I just love this little snowman guy. He's adorable. Look at how cute he is, you guys. Right? He's just this chubby little snowman. He's kicking his foot up in the air. He's doing, you know, like, what do they call that? Juggling snow. Or maybe he's just going, woo, look at the snow. Too much. <laughs> okay, then we're going to use this really cool puff paint. Now, I think it says that you're supposed to shake this. This easily creates 3D effects and adds texture to cardstock. But I think if we read the directions, which you'll need your magnifying glass for, it says shake well before using, apply in a thin line, and then heat with a heat tool to puff the paint. So here we go. Let me close my ink pads before I drip something in. We're going to use this puff paint, and I'm going to... It's really thin, you guys. It's very milky. So I'm going to put some little puffs up here on the snow. A little bit here, a little bit here. Then we're going to bring in our heat tool. So it looks like really, really thin liquid glue. Ready? You don't want to put too much on because it will, like, drip off. I want you to see this. Hang on, I'm burning my fingers. There it goes. Do you see that? Isn't it cool? Okay, so let me do the snowballs on the top. Look at how cute they are. Is that not adorable? I love this stuff. So this is called Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. You get a ton of it in a bottle. I don't know how many ounces are in here. It probably says someplace, but whatever. Lots of it. Part of this suite. So when you order the whole suite, you'll get all of it, right? Okay, next, I would take this and add it to here, okay? And then add this to the front of my card with some dimensionals. Now, if you didn't want to stamp and color and do all that, you could die cut this adorable paper because look at all these fun little snowmen on here. You could still add the puff paint to the bottom and you could put this on instead of the stamped image. And isn't that stinking adorable? <laughs> Somebody says we get enough snow. I know, but you know, it's just cards. So either way, could do either one of these. Now I recommend that you use mini glue dots to stick your um, snowman onto this glitter layer and I'm looking for mine right now and I can't find them. Here they are. I'm almost done with these because that's one of the things that sticks pretty good when you have to stick something to glitter paper, right? Otherwise there's not a lot of stuff that's will stick to the glitter paper. Let me see, do I have any more here? Nope, I do not. Hang on, I gotta grab some more. Don't worry, I have an arsenal 
Oh, these are shaker domes. Look at that. I thought they were mini glue dots. Yeah. So we'll play with those at some point, too. Here we go. All right. I wonder why they were in that drawer. That's weird. Well, I'm glad that I wasn't looking for them and couldn't find them, right? Okay, so mini glue dots. I'm going to stick this right on here. That glimmer paper just really does it, doesn't it? And then dimensionals. I think I'll add a dimensional here and a dimensional here. You want to make sure your dimensionals are only on your belly band because remember this needs to slide off. So there we go. You could do that or you could do this. Either one is simply adorable. What size is the circle punch? Um, this is the stitched circle die and you just want one that's going to be um, the size to get around your snowman. So I would stamp it on a piece of paper and then line up your punches or dies. This is about two and three eighths round. So great question. But yeah, you just stamp your image and then bring out your dies and see which one fits best. But there we go with our really cute little Christmas card. Now, I wanted to show you guys the paper so hang tight I showed you this one right and you've seen the striped one and again this is all specialty paper because it's got the glitter on it I hope you guys can see the glitter right <laughs> Diana says I'm saving her from watching football <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> and then we've got red stripes you saw this one with the hats on the side, and there's glitter all over in here on these hats. So it's embossed with glitter, and it's glitter that doesn't like brush off and get all over the place. So here we have glitter on the trees that looks like snow and stripes. I already showed you this one. Here's some little snowmen. They're super, super cute. And this pretty snowy coastal cabana color. This is the whoops, this is the same one. We have some cute little mittens. One side does not have glitter. Um, some of these sheets, this side doesn't either, but all these others did that I showed you. So we've got some pretty stripes and some mittens. Here's the snowman sheet that I already showed you. And the back of that is the red stripes. I think we did the trees already. They have glitter on them. Here's just lines of snowmen with the glitter on them and some like I don't know frosty looking red with white dots all over it so this paper is incredibly beautiful it's super fun let it snow specialty designer series paper all right now I promised you guys that I would answer any questions you might have at the end and then also that I would show you the gift and the cards that I got in the mail over the last week because I forgot to do that at the beginning. So if anybody has any questions that I have missed, please ask them now and I will watch for them to come through. And then I'll bring out all the cards again so you can see them one last time. Now all of these will be posted on my blog. I probably will not get them done tonight, but they'll be posted in the morning. And you will see me posting on my Facebook page as Steve if it says that it's Steve. But just know that he is not doing anything on my page. It's me. And I'm in disguise. No, I will not shave my head to look like him because I don't think he would care for that too much. But I'm in disguise and I'm going to be Steve for the next couple days probably. So here we go. Let me show you the cards. So this card is from Kim Siriana. And Kim asked me where the Get Well card was that she sent to Steve. Kim, I wanted to recreate this, but I just haven't had the time to figure out something else because I wanted to show it with a different stamp set and then yours. So I'm going to show everybody, and maybe I'll still show you how to make this card. This is called a tent fold, and isn't that just cute? She sent this to Steve as a Get Well card, and I love what she did with this punch and then a circle of gold behind it and the little designer element. This is our beautiful um, green and pretty peacock ribbon. But I love what she did with the foil paper. This is like the granny apple green or the old olive foil paper that she ran through that mosaic embossing folder. I just couldn't hold off showing people anymore. 
Okay, you just said, does Steve ever what? Hang on. Does Steve ever make a card for you? He did once. He went downstairs in my office when my office was in the basement and he made me a card. But other than that, what he likes to do is he'll go buy me a card, but he always makes sure that it has a moving mechanism or something funky because he knows that I love that stuff. And then I tear it apart and try to figure out how to make it and show you guys. <laughs> That's what he does. Oh, we forgot to stamp this, didn't we? Hang on. We can't have a naked envelope. I'm going to stamp a whole bunch of little red Let It Snows on here. How about that? This is going to be cute. And I'm just doing them very randomly so they don't look like they're, you know. Ooh, I got lots of ink on my block. i got to be careful. Kind of like this is designer series paper, right? Is What do you guys think? Is that cute? Where'd my stamp set go? Here it is. I'm going to do... Just a couple little snowflakes in here. Well, a couple would be two, so I'm going to do more than that. But just in between the Let It Snows. And one more right up here. Oh my gosh, I love that. Here's our little card. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Will I be selling the PDF? Hang on. Will you be selling the PDF for the snowman set next month? Yes. Yes, I will. So the only class that I have done so far that does not have a PDF that you can buy alone is the kit class that I just released earlier this month. That one, I will not sell the PDF by itself because the class needs ribbon and wood embellishments and designer series paper, which are all provided in the kit to make the cards that I have, I have created for you. So that's the only one where you can't just buy a PDF. So if you're a demonstrator, you could still order that kit. You're going to get more wooden embellishments, more ribbon, and more designer, designer series paper, which I'm sure you can use up. But that's the way that one's going to go. The rest of my classes, you will be able to buy just the PDF or the PDF with the cardstock pack or the whole suite and get the cardstock pack as a bonus. All right, so let's get back to this. Sorry. Squirrel. <laughs> I should be wearing my squirrel shirt right now. Um, okay, here comes the rest of my cards. Okay, so these were these were from my team swap. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, our theme was Halloween or fall. And I just love this. This is so pretty. Look at this one. Now, if you join my team and you want to swap cards, you would design a card and you would make up however many are going to be in the swap. So like in this case, there were 13 of us. You would make 13 cards, mail them to me, or if you're local, you can drop them off. And we swap them out and you get 13 different cards back. Or, yeah, 13 different cards back. So that's how that works. So let me see if I can tell you who these belong to. This is Jody Peterson. Isn't that pretty? Nancy Ellison. Nancy's brand new to my team. Oh my lord, Nancy. Both of your cards. Jody too. Just gorgeous. This one is simply adorable. I love the little rhinestone here and how she um, used the leaves in the background. And this is from Jan Fortin. She's also brand new to my team. Then we've got Teppy Schwartzel. She is from Arizona. And look at how pretty that is with the gather, come together suite. Yeah, and I think this might be a fun fold. Let me get that out of there. Let's see what that does. Oh, look at that. I like that gap in the middle. That's very pretty. Then we had this one. This was by Kathy Shaning, and um, very pretty fall card. We've got Luann Lee. Isn't that gorgeous? She used the wood grain in the background here, too. And Jay Shante, again, she used that pretty milk can with some um, a technique on the embossing folder. This one is by Renee Atkinson, a fun Halloween card with some sponging around the moon in this layer. And then this one, I loved this one. This is that set that has all those scribbly circles. I think it has circles and squares, and I don't remember what else. But this was by Tina Schaefer, another brand new demonstrator to my team. So... These were all, oh, I've got a few more here. Hang on. Kathy Miller, this is a brand new stamp set. Love this one. This one is from Patty Skiba. Look at how gorgeous that is. She actually embossed. 
hang on, she embossed the um, birch tree background stamp with gold embossing powder. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, and I should bring Kathy's back in here too. She made a little basket out of that basket weave, so it looks like the um, gourds or pumpkins are sitting in a basket. Sweet, right? Okay, those are my swap cards from my team meeting. So if you guys want to be a part of something much bigger, join as a discount shopper and you can be involved in so many more fun things with this craft that we love. This card comes to me from Mercy Burks and she is thanking me for the cards that I sent to her and also the candle embellishments. How pretty is that, right? Thank you, Mercy. That was just so sweet. And then we have a card from Beth Puffer. Look how pretty that is. And Beth is thanking me for picking her name for the card challenge. She won the last card challenge that we had. And look at, she used the um, Wink of Stella all over her flowers here. It's in the jar. Very pretty. Then we have a card from Carrie Schumacher. This was that suite of products that we had, uh, I think, last in May. Maybe that was the promotion for May. Um, it's called Something Posy. But she says, thanks for the Artisan Texture stamp. Yeah, she won. She's part of my team, and she got a stamp set because she was the winner in a category for reaching her sales goals, which is not what it's all about, but congratulations to Carrie, right? Then we have a card from... Megan Bacorno, am I saying that right, Megan? Hang on. Beautiful floral card here. It just says Megan, and she's thanking me for sharing my love of crafts with us, with her. That is so sweet. I love getting cards like this. It, it really just makes my day. Look at this beautiful card. This was sent by Mary O'Connell. And she used the Sia Silhouette dies. Isn't that pretty? With that dandelion set. I can't remember what that's called, but I have it, and it's beautiful. And then this is one of those Bokob background stamps. So this is just gorgeous. These are vellum. Yeah, so pretty. And this was a get well card for Steve. And she says, what a handsome father of the bride. Looked like a great day. That is so sweet, right? And then Steve received this gorgeous card. This is all embossed and then colored in. And there's um, black, our black foil paper under here, which is really pretty. And this is from Luba. And Luba, I never know how to say your last name. Ballows. But this was um, a sympathy card because Steve lost his dad uh, three weeks ago. So, yeah. Let me see if I have anything. Oh, yep, I got another one here. This is from Mary Hodges. Look at this. This is the cuckoo one. She put some little embellishments here. This is the cuckoo clock, and it looks like wood. She colored in Oh, wait, it does something. I don't know what to do. Oh, look at that. When you push it up, oh, there's an arrow. Hello, Kelly. There's an arrow right there. This is one of our stamp sets. Push it up, and it does that. How cute is that? So this was interesting because Mary had a note in here. Just wanted to send a thanks for all your wonderful videos. You have a real gift of teaching. Um, this card was made using one of your layouts. She goes, I don't like layering as much as you seem to, so I used inking to create the illusion of layers. And I loved that because it's not all about copying everything I do. I use lots of layers, but she found a way. She doesn't like to use lots of layers. She found a way to get around that, but it does create the illusion of layers. And I love that she did that, and I love that she told me she did it, right? Isn't that cool? Oh, my gosh, I have a card to play with. Hee-hee. <laughs> okay, let me see. I have one more. This was the big kahuna. Check this out, you guys. This came in a Pandora box, yeah. This is a box made out of designer series paper and it's got a card on the front of it that slips through that layer so it hangs right on there. I actually had this marked on another website to show you guys because this is something that um, demonstrators have been making for years. I love these. This comes to me from my um, 
Optavia coach. She's the lady who helped me lose all the weight. And she sent this to me. And there were two boxes of my calorie burn in here. This is the strawberry lemonade that I drink. There was one that was wild berry and then the strawberry lemonade. She sent me these gifts. And there was a note that went with it. Oh, here it is. But look at that box made out of designer series paper. And it says, Kelly, all I can say is I am so thankful for Facebook or we wouldn't know each other. You have inspired me so much with your card making tips and ideas. I love your sense of humor and you always make me laugh. You have done such a great job with your health journey and thank you for sharing it with others and sending them my way. And she said, this is a small token of appreciation, but please drink some water. <laughs> Bev knows I don't like to drink water. I like to drink this stuff. But isn't this just so special? This made my day. I came home to this in the mail. And um, thank you so much, Bev. I really appreciate it. You know I will get good use out of the calorie burners. And if anybody has any questions about the Optavia, Bev is my coach. That's how I lost. I'm down about 45 pounds now. And I can't tell you guys how incredibly fabulous I feel. It's a different world from six months ago where I felt bloated and doggy and tired and unattractive and I mean you just name it. When you when you are carrying 45 more pounds you're not feeling well right? And um, I feel fantastic now and I am so glad that I did this it was an easy program it's it is a change in your lifestyle because you're eating differently and it was easy for me because it comes with prepackaged food and you just use you eat their things all day long except one lean and green meal a day steak and asparagus um, chicken breast grilled chicken breast with green beans you know just and people say well what are you eating I go out to eat a lot and I don't have I didn't have any trouble losing my 45 pounds because I'm choosing the grilled chicken salad I'm, I'm making good choices on the food that I'm eating when I go out instead of having that bacon cheeseburger with french fries that I want but it was my decision that I wanted to lose weight so you you know no, no pain no gain right there's no pain no gain and I went after this with a vengeance, and I'm so glad that I did. So if anybody else is out there struggling with their health, um, I highly recommend this. It is an incredible program. Um, Bev is my coach, and she will take anyone on. Um, she really helped me succeed. And it was nice that I had somebody to be accountable for. And I can thank you guys, too, because you held... You held me accountable just by wanting to know my updates every week. So I didn't want to come to you on Sunday night and go, well, I gained five pounds. You know, that wouldn't have made me feel good about myself. But I liked reporting to you guys telling you that I was losing weight every month. So thank you guys for sticking with me through that, too. And I am still on the program. Um, I don't know how much more pounds I'm going to lose. I've really slowed down with the weight loss, but my goal was to lose 30 to 35 pounds. I'm down 45 pounds, and I still could lose a little bit more weight. There's, I mean, you guys are all like, oh, you're thin enough. Yeah, I know I am, but I'm still carrying um, some extra weight that I really don't need. So here were all of our beautiful, beautiful cards to share tonight. Here's our cutie patootie little project love this right how cute is that and then we've got the Christmas card with the belly band we've got two options here with the snowman and the Halloween card that I'm like oh I can't find it don't forget your envelope I have to stamp up an envelope for this one too but then here's the the uh, Halloween card I will have all the dimensions and a shopping list on my blog probably by tomorrow morning um, for all of these projects so it's easy to shop when you have a shopping list if anybody needs to place an order you can go right to my blog at www.stampabove.com you're going to click in the right hand corner um, 
I shouldn't say that. You're going to click on the right-hand column on the online ordering button, and this is my current host code. Just enter that when you're prompted to add a host code, but only do it if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, do not use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up, and I definitely want you to have those. Now, if you're watching later on YouTube, please click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You're going to see a little subscription button there. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. Click on that thumbs up button on YouTube if you liked this video. If you didn't like the video, don't give me a thumbs down. I work really hard and I don't think I deserve any of those and I hate them. <laughs> Just move along. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for tuning in with me tonight. I'm going to check here to see if there's any more questions. I think I've kept you guys long enough. My God, it's almost been two hours. Thank you so much for all the well wishes on my weight loss Um I am so happy that I did it, and um, if you need something that, you know, will probably be successful for you, let's, let's be real, like most of these programs, the hardest part is sticking with them, right? That's the hard part. You know that the program will work. It's been designed by medical people to get you to lose weight by eating less calories. I did all, almost all of my weight loss with no exercise because I hate exercising, so it really is all about what you're putting in your mouth. And I don't mean to sound like a commercial for weight loss, but this has been my personal journey. So um, it's been fantastic. If you need a, um, if you have any questions that I didn't answer, please don't hesitate to private message me, okay? Because I am not going to respond. I can't comment on Facebook. I don't want to end up extending my jail time. I don't want to get Steve in jail because I'm commenting too much or liking too many things, but know that I am watching, I am reading everything you guys are posting, and I so appreciate your comments, your well wishes, your everything. I just appreciate it, and I want you to know that. So, I think I'm going to sign off now, because when I get done, I always go out in the garage, I buy my honey, and he says, how did it go? And I say, fantastic. I love my customers. They're fantastic, and I, I had a great time, so I need to go do that right now. You guys have yourselves a wonderful week. Watch for my tip video coming out on Wednesday. Also Friday, don't forget, I'm going to release the information about a new online class. So you'll get all the deets on that. And it is going to be um, using the Come Together suite of products out of the Holiday Mini Catalog. Love that suite. Okay. Um, Judith says, so happy you were here tonight. Thank you so much, Judith. And thank you, Cindy and Laura. Thank you so much, Carrie. I really appreciate it. You guys have yourselves a wonderful week. Stay safe out there and keep stamping. Bye-bye.